today I'm here to talk to you about the Pink Tower, the iconic, the infamous Pink Tower from Montessori. Now, a lot of people, pretty much everybody has heard of the Pink Tower, but do we really know the benefits and what goes behind this Pink Tower? What our children are learning when they use the Pink Tower? That's what I'm here to talk to you about. So this is a very simple activity. The blocks are laid out, the cubes are laid out for the child, and they build it into a tower. And when you look at it, you think, well, okay, my child could do that with Lego. My child could do that with, you know, any kind of blocks. What's so special about this pink tower? What we are not seeing, when our child builds this, there is just a small difference between each of these cubes. And for that young child, this is presented at two years. For that young child to be able to tell the difference between each of these cubes, that's a big deal. It really trains their visual sense to be able to see the difference between each of these cubes and build it in a way that it looks all aligned. There are 10 cubes with this material. And through this, what Maria Montessori is trying to do is lay a foundation for math. Because when we learn math in Montessori and pretty much everywhere, we learn it through the decimal system, which is a base 10 method. So indirectly, they're getting prepared for math. Of course, when they're learning about size, that's also a mathematical concept. Now, when these children are using this material, I'm going to take it down over here for you to see. They carry each of these cubes one by one from the shelf to the mat. They don't carry three or four at a time. We carry it one by one. In this way, there's a lot of gross motor development. And that two, two, two and a half year old, they want to move. They're looking for a lot of movement. They don't like to be seated in one place. So this helps them to get that, you know, out of, you know, out of their system to help them have that movement that they need. I want you to look at something, okay? When this child brings the largest cube, this is how they carry it. And there's a certain weight to it, and it's such a big cube. And finally, when they get to the smaller cubes, they're carrying it in the same way. Now it's become lighter. And now my fingers have to close in to hold this cube. So through their body, they're getting an understanding of size. It's not just visual, but it's a physical sense of size. Now, when they have these impressions, they're taking in these impressions through a sensory way, through touching. It imprints on their mind, and she calls that a muscular memory. It's creating a muscular memory for them. They're remembering about size through touching, through feeling, not just by looking at a 2D picture, all right? When they build, they are using their fingers. And these are the fingers that we use when we write. So they're becoming stronger. Their fingers are getting stronger so that when it's time for them to hold a pencil, they're not going to feel pain in their fingers. They're going to enjoy that process. It's gonna be something fun to do. So these are some of the benefits that are clear here. Once the child has learned to build the tower vertically, we have so many different ways that we can you know, encourage them to use the material. This is to bring out their creativity and imagination. They can build it on the mat as a horizontal tower. They can use it zigzag. We can ask them to build different shapes of their own. We have base cards that they can match it to. All of these things are refining their visual sense are developing their concentration. They have to be very well concentrated to be able to build this tower without it toppling. Sometimes they will uh, experiment and try and do things in different ways and that's great because that is them showing innovation, them showing their creativity and imagination. So we want to, you know, encourage that and, you know, maybe work with them. Sometimes they can combine it with other materials very often they use it with the broad, the broad stair, building it on top, building different kinds of towers, coming up with so many different ideas of their own. These are things that we as teachers, as parents, as Montessori guides, we should be encouraging. So this shows you the many benefits that lie behind the beautiful pink tower.
Now you know why it's such a magnificent material, another one of Maria Montessori's beautiful creations. I look forward to seeing you next time on YouTube. Subscribe so that you don't miss any of our videos and give me some love, hit the like button. If you have questions, I can come back and answer them. Until we meet again, have a beautiful day.